A couple ACC hoop stars are suiting up for their country. That's coming up, but first, UNC and NC State in action at the College World Series. I'm Bill Voth. It's Wednesday, June 19th. This is the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. North Carolina's Trent Thornton limited LSU to two runs over seven innings, and the Tar Heels knocked out the Tigers from the College World Series with a 4-2 win on Tuesday. The Heels are the only Division I team not to lose back-to-back -back games this season, and they set a school record for wins with 58. UNC now faces NC State in an elimination game after the Wolfpack lost 2-1 to UCLA. The Pack and Heels meet Thursday at 8 Eastern on ESPN in a rematch of Sunday's game that State won 8-1. UNC's Colin Moran and Virginia's Mike Pappy are Rawlings American Baseball Coaches Association All-America First Teamers. Moran leads the nation in RBIs and Pappy's second in on-base percentage. Four ACCers on the second team, including Carlos Rodon and Trey Turner of NC State, plus UNC's Kent Emanuel and Georgia Tech's Daniel Polka. His teammate Zane Evans and Miami's Brian Radzewski made the third team. A couple rising ACC sophomores have made the final 12-man USA Basketball under-19 roster. Duke guard Rashid Suleiman and Virginia center Mike Toby will play in the FIBA World Championships this summer. And we finish up with a couple transfer nuggets. Mark Gottfried's Alabama connection has helped him land a former Crimson Tide hoopster. Guard Trevor Lacey's decided to join the Wolfpack. He started each of his two years at Alabama, averaging 11 points and three assists last season. Meanwhile, Miami picks up a transferring guard as well. Sheldon McClellan's leaving Texas for Coral Gables. He averaged 13 points and four rebounds as a sophomore. Of course, due to NCAA rules, McClellan and Lacey each have to sit out next year, so they'll join their teams full-time for the 2014-15 season. And that's the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. <laughs>